Okay, corruption's gone. We're now making money. Age bonus. Penal colony? Sure. There it is, birth of colonialism, perfect. Okay, so now we will, I think, trigger the the age bonus. Do our, our golden era. Get all power cost reduction. We've got prosperity, dev cost, and now we're going to, in which province, develop the next institution. Our cheapest province is Eitona Yuganana. Eitona Nanunana. Let's also do our expand Migratia. Which takes us down to just 72. Even though we're primitive and it's in the hills, this is only 72. And it has copper. And even though we can't get Renaissance, yes, we can skip Renaissance and go to colonialism. So let's just dev push colonialism here. We now have colonialism present. However, we can't actually embrace it. But we have it. <laughs> Which is stupid. <laughs> so, yeah. And uh, now that we're done paying off our loans, I think we... Right. We might as well just do more dev. Every single monarch point we earn is just going to go into development until we see the Europeans. And then we want to have like 1300 or so monarch points of each category. Check the trade note to see if Europeans are there. Uh, what? From like. You mean propagated trade power? France does have some. He's got transfers from traders downstream. No, from provinces. Lu. Province of Lu Denia. Hey, France is there. In this node, we see no one. France made it first. Province of Arumbia? Oh, hey. Haha. <laughs> Long time ago, when Wiz was the project lead for E4, he added my name to the uh, random province generator. So, yeah. So we're not a great power. I don't know, if France is already, like, there, then it's pretty possible that we're not going to be able to, to do it. So we need to stockpile monarch points already. So, now that the income is high, and I don't think, think we need any other buildings, we're going to just start colonizing like crazy. Thirty-six ducats a month on colony maintenance. That eh, might be a bit too high. We're only getting twenty per year from technology. Actually, only ten. Penal colony. We could go with repression and just murder the natives. I think I kind of have to do that if I want to get the colonies to grow without the without having any actual ideas. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Switch over to native repression. I'm not going to colonize toward France, because I actually, in order to showcase the, the neighbor discount, like, exploit, it's better if... It's actually stronger the longer you wait. So, we don't really want to get closer to him faster. We want to get stronger and bigger before he gets here. Gain stab! Alright. <laughs> colonize! More colonies! Give me the colonies, damn it! Haha. <laughs> France, get your ass over here, you're such a lazy bastard. <gasps> Britain! Yes! Great Britain is present! We're gonna take all of his clay. We don't have the tech to steal maps. That's okay though, we don't need to do that. We just need to colonize. Just sit. Become the most advanced technological country this world has ever seen. Look, we're about to spawn another institution. We're gonna, we're gonna dev push it too. I will have... Printing press before, before it's hot off the press. Haha, <laughs> get it? Before the printing press is off the press, I will spawn it. <laughs> How dumb is that? Well, that is weird. Our banner regiments have no pips. 
Apparently our supply can drop slightly. Huh. I'm really glad someone pointed that out. We're missing out on pips for no reason at all. Maybe that's- yeah, that's- that's why we lost the war earlier. That's the only reason why. <laughs> Couldn't possibly be for any other reason. Like me not checking the ledger for their army size or anything like that. Oh, hey, Portugal's arrived. Look at this little guy stealing colonialism from me. <gasps> Growth of the printing press! I must have it! <laughs> okay, so our highest development province is... 44 development. Our capital state... Our capital state has 152 development in it. Oh, uh, we got 28, 44, 37, 37. The cheapest place to develop is probably the best location to spawn it, because we are, we're not actually going to need to have it for a while. So, drunken salt. You silly drunken salt. Drunken salt? Also, coastal... Pretty good, actually. Alright, so... Pretty press? Let's do it. I did it! I have it first! I have it first! <laughs> I'm the best! <laughs> More banners. I spawned the printing press. Before anyone else. They all suck, I'm the best. Turn on the European spread edict. <gasps> there he is! Oh my god, he's right there! Look at him, he's right there! He's right there, he's right there! Look, guys! He's right there! <gasps> Look at those institutions! Spreading! This is actually, actually perfect. Um, this province just finished, and that means that these guys have gone ahead and stolen the institution. Putting them on tech 988, and this guy's on tech 788. And we have a neighbor discount of 40%. So, 40% is only 8, and that's coming from him being on Tech 9. If we wait until Great Britain borders us with their Tech 12, we could have 11 times 5 is 55% neighbor discount. It's a little bit riskier, because these guys are now really high, really high tech ahead of me. But we have, like, crazy huge force limit, tons of money in the bank, and uh, hopefully we're just imposing enough that they'll leave me alone. And we can just keep on being lazy and, you know, exploitative. You know, it's raise more banners. Let's be imposing. All of the banners. I'm pretty sure that our uh, 66,000 troops could, could beat him. Of course, the last time we fought that guy. Kicked my butt. Nanig He's got eight troops. You know, if we had 80,000, we could just overrun him. <laughs> Can we get more banners? Just overrun him. That would be a good way to do it. I think. I think for fun, let's go ahead and do it. We're gonna... Train up 20,000 regular infantry. The enemy has eight troops. <laughs> we're gonna pick... We get 81,000 regiments. Actually, slightly more than that, because we might suffer an attrition tick, which will... Um, not be good. Oh no, it's a snowman! Sky is falling! Now, I shall lead. Y you're a nice dude and all, but like we need someone with maneuverability. So, who's gonna give me at least two or three maneuver pips? Lambert? Alright, Lambert. This is your opportunity to prove yourself. One guaranteed shock pip. Three to nine pips total. <laughs> Lambert, <laughs> you rolled a three! You suck! Okay, who's next? Go on, Sildati, it'd be better. <gasps> yes! Two, three, two, two! You're the man! Or woman. It's... Jury's still out. <laughs> Sorry, Lambert, you're dead. You're dead to me. I shall lead. You, you need to retire as well. Also, I think we'll stop focusing on dip, because we want to... We need more military points right now.
Now, the attrition is bad, but remember, only the regiments that are regulars are actually going to cost us manpower. So, we're going to lose 23 times 0.04 times 1,000. We're going to lose 920 manpower per month. So we can't support it for very long, but we don't need to support it for very long. Because banners don't use manpower. Because banners are weird. Now, hopefully he doesn't train one more troop. I probably should have waited till we were on the border, because if he gets to nine, we'll actually have to fight him. But, maybe it'll still work out. The hell's his army? <laughs> now I'm confused. There he is. Get him! Quick! Get him! No. Reinforcement. We only have 20% reinforcement because you only have two maneuver pips because we're in non-colonized lands. We need, we need to fall back and regroup. <laughs> Quickly regroup. <laughs> we don't have the we don't have the magic numbers. <laughs> All right, whatever. I don't care about the attrition. I'm just gonna suffer it. It's fine. There, we're back up to 82. I don't know where he is. You think he's just hiding? Should we just go siege him? If we do that, he's gonna come back. I just know it. <gasps> no! They're doing it! They're going for it! Crap! Come on! Soldadia! God damn it! Soldadia! <laughs> Win the siege! God damn it! 5% of 80,000 troops disease outbreak. No! Oh my god! How is that possible? God damn it! It's such horse shit, man. The AI is so fucking lucky with their sieges. So dumb. All right, let's see. We, we still have some manpower. It, it could still work. Of course. Look at this fucker. God damn it. Wall breach bullshit. <laughs> Don't you dare to be too fast for me. Here. Okay, all right? Ready? Who, who wants to know? Who, who was it they wanted to know? Who would win? 80,000 <laughs> level tech 1 or 8,000 tech 9? I'll, I'll, I'll tell you the answer. The answer is 80,000. <gasps> what? We didn't overrun. That's really weird. What? No, really, that's really weird. What? Okay, we did win. <laughs> we still won, but wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what happened with that math, but that should have been an overrun. Our colony died. Great Britain doesn't like me now? Wants your promises. Ah, crap. Even with the bribe, huh? Hmm. Well, let's hope that we can core fast enough that we can then steal the institution from him, because he is tech 13. We have prosperity here now. We did lose our golden era, which is quite sad. We want to have like 1,300 points, because the, the first tech is going to only cost like 100 points. So if you have 1,300 and you spend 100, it'll floor you to 999. So you lose 200. So you only need to have like, you know, 1,100, 1,200, somewhere around there. Culture conversion bank for Diplo. We could do that. If we want to do that. Moving forward, we will. Sure. I've already spent the points. But, um... I don't think there's even that much we can convert right now. We can bank that many points. So, the uh, the next thing we're going to do now is take advantage of this neighbor exploit. And the way this works is the modifier for tech 
penalty from neighbor discount does not update until the next monthly tick. It only updates on the monthly ticks. So we currently have a 60% discount because we border Great Britain, who is 12 tax ahead. 12 times 5 equals a 60% discount. He is 11 tax ahead on dip, which gives us a 50% discount and 55 because of the 12. So we're going to embrace, like reform our government based on Great Britain's tech, pushing us all the way up to tech 989. But notice how the tech discount is still there. You actually get this tech discount for a whole month. So that means that we can take the next tech for only 244 points. So even though you're only supposed to be at 80% of the tech of your neighbors, he's on tech 13 and we're in tech 9, we're going to take tech, and then we're going to take tech, and then we're going to take tech, and then we're going to take tech, and if you stacked it longer and got it to like 90%, then you could actually go even higher than he can. So 298, we're actually not going to lose points. Tech 13, 12, 13. We have better military tech now than Great Britain does. The guy that we just spied on, basically. Of course, the one thing we don't have is we have no ideas. We know how to make boats now, so that's neat. Uh, we can do state firearm regiments, we don't want that. Now, let's also make sure we can still do the achievement. We can. Alright, cool. So we're, we're not ineligible. Our force limit went down because we lost all of our native buildings. These... Buildings... Still technically exists, but our force limit's still down because I, I think we lost all of our native idea bonuses. For kingdom. No spy network on Great Britain? Oh, you're right. 240 mil points, and then, yeah, we could have pushed it even further. Our government type is kingdom, and yeah, we have English monarchy. Curtailed noble privileges, decentralized bureaucracy. I think we just cloned whatever he had. <laughs> Fund the expansion of universities. All right, hold on. We got to squirrel this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> we could have done so much more. Okay, so let's just like take a snapshot of where we ended up. We got to 13, 12, 13. And we ran out of monarch points there. Alright, so we'll keep on stockpiling points for now. Let's just hope that no one attacks us. And uh, we need to start spying on Great Britain and on probably on Holland's. I don't think France has better tech. Actually, France has better Diplo tech. 13, 13, 12. Yeah, we'll spy on France and Great Britain. It's now a colonial nation. Won't get English monarchy now? Hmm. You're right, that's a fair point. Alright, we're gonna have to roll back to the previous save. So he's got one, two, three, four, and then whenever that one finishes is what's triggering it. So, we're going to still spy on him. Now he's a claim on me. Oh yeah, I think he wants to kill us. Alright, here we go, probably one more month. Close enough for me. Hopefully he's taking tech. He did take tech 14. 65% discount now. He took tech 12, and I think he took tech 13. Alright, so before we do our stuff, this time we're going to dev with 100 admin. 100 dip. And about 200 mil. Close enough. Seat in Parliament. Please don't cost me Monarch points. Oh, hey, I already had support. Cool. And the innovativeness for the slight discount. Let's get our ship trade power bonus. And so now we're only missing out on the 25 extra points, which is fine. 
See how the awesome spy network discount has gone down? We have 52% spy network on Den on uh, Great Britain, so we should be getting double the bonus roughly, but we're only getting 7.8, so instead of 15 being 7.8. We still have points for an actual idea. I suppose, I mean, I haven't really thought about this at all. This wasn't really like a planned campaign or anything, so... I think the goal of the achievement is just to discover the new world, so... That's really the only goal. What do we need to actually make that happen? We have to have probably exploration to go look for crap. But... We don't need to colonize is the thing, you know? We could just, we could be done with this achievement right now. But sure, let's let's just take expansion, whatever. All right, for mill, we can get that for 150. We now have tech 14 across the board compared to this. We're ahead of our neighbor. We're ahead of time by seven, seven, eight years. Um, definitely better to get that spy network. If we could have gotten it even bigger, it would have been nice. Thanks, Diplo points. Yeah, I forgot about that. I knew there was a reason I was keeping you guys around. Now, we could do... We're not going to take tech, obviously. Um, Diplo ideas? We need exploration so we can go find stuff. Military ideas, probably... What, you want innovativeness from naval ideas? <laughs> Aristocratic will give us the tech cost to help make up for the fact we gotta do idea groups. Uh, let's do that. We could do espionage. Let's, let's do it, we're going espionage. Screw it, we're going espionage. <laughs> And then we're going to steal maps. Espionage for stealing maps, that's why. Give me your maps. You give us 41 provinces revealed. The Sea of Bentheus. Bam. Missing out on an explorer. Well, we can hire an explorer. Soon-ish, maybe. Alright, let's wrap up the achievement. So that's, that's the neighbor exploit. Basically. We can ravel Great Britain. Let's do it. He has no friends. Force Summit should go back up soon. We're great power now. Yay! He still hasn't finished his colony. Now, there's going to be an opportunity here. I'm pretty sure. Because... When colonial nations form, I don't believe they get an army. And because our capital is on the New World, now that this guy exists, he has no army, no defense against us. Also, we haven't really talked about it much, but we do have little Inuit suits on, which are kind of cool. So when your capital is in the New World and you attack a nation that's in the New World, they don't get defended by their overlord. Neat, huh? So it's just us versus him, and more importantly, because the colonial nation just recently formed, the relationship between him and the Overlord, British opinion of him is only 53, and the other way around, the British Viteria, Vi Vitera opinion of Great Britain is 53. So, because it's less than 100, Great Britain can't even enforce peace. Convert to Christianity. Nah. No European nation or their colonies own provinces in your capital region. 
That's probably talking about the... Oh, look at that. Huh. Huh. That's weird. <laughs> huh. Well done, Paradox. <laughs> Alright, so we're still spying on people, I guess. Beyond that, uh, we have need for some admin points. So that we can start exploring with our ships and uh, extend our colonial range. And that's about it. We get this achievement out of the way. So, Dottie, I'm going to replace you. You're, you're going to learn how to swim now. <laughs> Apparently not very well, though. It would be faster to hire a conquistador. Yeah, that would probably help. Who wants to conquist? Conquistadora? We'll be, we're going to need to build a transport, though. Gravitos. Gravitos the... Explorer. <laughs> Truly awful rolls today from, from almost every general we've had, so I'm glad we're wasting them on this campaign and not on an important one. Unless we've actually revealed this coastline. Hey, there's Portugal. Okay, so. Whoa. <laughs> okay, so France is like taking some and like Portugal is still Portugal mostly, except he's missing that province. Morocco's like I want some, and Austria, Aragon's like, I get this part. You give maps. Achievement? No. Damn. Well, there's not much points to an explorer now. Or a conquistador, rather. There was, like, an island up here. It doesn't seem like there's anything else that we can buy and, like, steal. So maybe espionage ideas is a mistake. Ha! <laughs> right? I mean, who's surprised by that, right? Don't sink yet! Good. Yes, now, now you may sink. Looks like there might be another province up there. Nope! There it is! We got it! <laughs> GG! <laughs> okay! Well, that was kind of a relatively long involved process. Um, now what? <laughs> what a let Such a letdown, really!